10 past 5, Friday night on the 10th of February 2017 and myself and Jim are going to head into Loch True along the Southern Upland Way and find a nice wee camp for the night it's a typical Friday in and out so we didn't want to go too far or make it too difficult the snow is about 1500 feet and there's some snow flurries forecast for tonight but I think we'll just get a nice woodland camp and hopefully a good fire on and some drink let's see how it goes Oh, your piles are deep. Can you get me on your own sticks? I know, selfie stick. <laughs> tape. I'll I'll invest in tape. a selfie stick, folks, for the next time. I've got a gaffer tape on into your face. No, don't stand under that yeah. for too long. So we're on the headland in Loch True. We've uh, walked for about 20 minutes, I think. I need to check. And we have a lovely setting, which will probably be recognised by another well-known vlogger and wild camper. Name will not be mentioned at this stage. Because I just watched their video from about a year ago, and I think this is the exact spot you guys were as well. I'm going to try and put my tent up right here. Well, it's taken a bit of, a, bit of time. Found a nice wee spot in the woods, got the new vestibule up, uh, facing into the wind actually, so the, the wind's coming up over the vestibule, but it's just a wee breeze, so it should produce a nice wee airflow for cooking. Uh, it's all looking nice, good stuff. Nice. The fire is just about ready for cooking on. No shortage of firewood around here as well for you. Anyone thinking about Loch True, you'll be spoilt for choice. I'll we'll get some stuff at the back. These big buggers we want to get. Oh, the one's these catch. Now you're talking. That's that catch as well. Reflect some heat off the rope. Fire it, hammers of heat. Well, we're on the soup course. It's about ten past seven. The moon is out, stars are out. There's quite a keen easterly wind coming off the loch and some snow flurries, but it's actually really pleasant sitting by the fire. We've got a good rip roarer going. So again, it doesn't get much nicer than this. We had thought about a mountain camp, but thought of just being holed up in the tent and no fire in the middle of the snow. Hmm. I think I prefer this. I should have done yoga, I can't even. That's a cool. Probably jubbly. Resupplied. Yeah. What a night. What a night and what a spot. Beautiful. That is lovely, isn't it? That is. Fantastic night. It goes back to the camera. Yeah, mine's is that. Now mm -hmm. ah, we have a good cooking range. It's Jim's Terra Nova Voyager, a 
all set up and sitting pretty in the moonlight. He's got the candle on just to warm it up before he goes to his kip. Twenty past ten, and uh, that's us letting the fire die out and just retire to the tents now to watch a bit early. But lovely spot, really nice night, great weather. Um, just moon stars coming and going, partly cloudy, some snow flurries, but really, really good. So I'm just going to enjoy a wee bit of TV and then crash out and I will see you in the morning. Well, it's half seven on Saturday and we have woken up to a very different day. One very windy night, around about three in the morning, was probably pretty bad actually. Certainly gale force, I'd say, run, cutting across the headland. Very windy day. I don't think it was any gales forecast, but it's certainly been gale force during the night. Yes, I don't know where that came from, it wasn't a forecast. It's supposed to be like four or five miles an hour away. dead trees that are around here that we never realised. This one over here. It's a wee bit like playing Russian roulette and camping at the same time. Thank you.